We'll start to find our child's pose, please. And here we go. I am going to mute any last callers. People will still stream in while we start. So child's pose is hips on your heels. The forehead comes to your mat. Your knees can be splayed apart. So the torso can splay down in between your thighs. So you can bring your knees together. Create a little shelf for your torso hibari. And over the course of the next few breaths, start to land and release into the practice. And the practice is this, connect with your breath, begin to move inside the breath, with the breath, feel like your breath is moving your body. And if at any point the breath gets choppy or held or you simply mind, maybe fluctuations of the mind have you distracted, come into your child's pose and gather there. Child's pose is an offering all during class. So we come back to it time and time again to just notice perhaps a great way, hey Margaret, a great way for you to get connected or reconnected. So over the course of the next few breaths, notice where your hands are. They can be back by your hips, you can draw them forward. Neither place is the have to place. They're both amazing experiences. If you only do one, try the other. And over the course of the next two breaths, empty the lungs. Take in a deep, full inhale. And exhale, H-A. From there, inhale, deep, steady, full. Fill up the back body. Let your belly draw down to the legs. And exhale, H-A. These are just two of the sounds we can make. There are so many, you can flutter the lips. You can even go swish. The H-A harm. All great ways to vibrationally breathe. And over the course of the next breath, inhale, draw your arms forward. Tent up on the fingertips, feel your forearms enliven, and let's tippy toe fingers up and over to the left side of the room. Feel your right side body engage. Inhaling, exhaling. Notice if you can find a little more length along both side bodies. Slowly take an inhale and tiptoe your fingers back to center. Good. Stretch, lengthen a little bit more. And on your next inhale, glide your fingers up and over to the other side, right side. You can stay on the fingertips. You can glide the left hand up and over the right. Try a flutter of the lips. And this is when you can make choices. You can keep your cameras on if you want a little encouragement or an adjust. You can also turn your camera off if you want to have a little solo. But know that we're with you. Big breath. On your next inhale, glide your fingers back to center. Beautiful. As you spider crawl your fingers forward, lift up to all fours. And as we come up onto all fours, the shoulders, elbows, wrists stack. Good, keep your hips directly over your knees. Create a nice long tabletop. Beautiful, well, your torso would be the table. Crown of head coming forward, neck spine long, coming out from the table. Beautiful, on your next inhale, press the belly down, roll the shoulders back, look up. This is cow pose. Exhale, tuck the chin and round your spine, that's cat. Inhale, belly down, roll shoulders back. Feel the movement in your spine and keep moving. Inhaling, exhaling. 
See if you can start to exaggerate these two movements just to find a little more space in your spine. If there is no exaggeration happening today, just do with what's happening. If you're a little tight or, you know, not feeling the roll, just see if you can bring the breath into the spine. Be gentle, mindful. This is your practice. Nobody's had your weekend, your day. And then start to take the movement and maybe churn the torso side to side. Yeah, and if churning is something that is new to you, have fun with it. Try to bring some childlike non-judgment here. Remember when you were a child, you'd try something new and if it didn't land right away, you'd just keep trying. Bring some of that little, you know, kind of naive or ignorant, you know, let yourself not judge yourself. Beautiful. Maybe a little C-curve, shoulder to hip, a little C-curve stretch. And let's bring this movement directly up into down dog. So as you come up into your down dog, spread your fingers wide, keep the movement going, experiment. Bend your knees, generous bend to the knees, nod your head. A little cha-cha through the hips can feel good. That's bending opposite knee and leg, straightening the other one. Notice your hands, spread your fingers wide. It's almost as if your palms get more and more grippy. They turn into Spider-Man or woman hands. Yeah, over time they do. So start to draw the underarms in towards one another, lengthen. Tilt your pelvis up towards the sky. So think about your sit points drawing up towards the sky. Draw the heart back towards your upper thighs. Then think about drawing your underarms in towards one another, almost like they wanna say hello to each other, good. And then empty the lungs. See if you can start to blueprint your down dog for today in your body. Press the mat away, draw your heart back, lift your hips up. Feel the energy glide down your legs. You can micro bend the knees or even a generous bend in the knees or straight legs. Everybody's down dog is a little different. And there are so many dogs in the world, right? Greyhounds, chihuahuas, all kinds. So tuck the chin, lift the sit points up, empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale. Exhale, open the mouth, H-A. <sighs> Check that your feet are hips this distance, the width of your face in between your feet, just for a few of you. Good, nice checking, nice self-correct. Hands shoulder width, thumbs face one another. Make the uh, L shape, reverse L with the fingers, good. On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Extend the right leg, flex the foot, feel the expansion. Lengthen, lengthen, and now exhale, let the hip roll open. Lift your leg up as high as you can. Roll the right hip up towards the sky. Maybe twirl your ankle, separate your toes a little bit. On your next inhale, lengthen the right leg, reach, extend, and exhale. Just gently bring your toes down to the mat. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen the left leg. So first square the hips, lengthen long. Inhaling, exhaling, pressing the heel all the way back, straighten the leg. And then exhale, let the hip roll open. Left side body awakens. Breathe in along the left side. You can lift the left hip up. And again, twirling the ankles, separating the toes. It could be more about the knee or the hip, or maybe it's a huge body on. Feel around, see if you can try something a little different every time we open up. And on your next inhale, lengthen the legs, square your hips, and exhale gently, gently, toes down to the mat. Soften your knees, relax your neck, look in between your hands. Hey, Ronnie, 
step or hop to the top of your mat. Oh my God, Sunshine's with us. Ronnie Stav, if you haven't taken her class yet, she's like Sunshine. So nod your head, then one knee, then the other. Grab the elbow tips, flutter your lips. And there's Heidi, my nature girl. You'll see her on a couple of her pics today. So sway a little side to side. Sometimes you can feel really buoyant here and other times it's more like, so I've heard someone say flossing your sit points. Yeah, and then bring your hands all the way behind your torso back, interlock the fingers. Good, now let your arms draw forward. Start to enliven underneath the armpits. This starts to open up the heart lung channels as well, the energy channels, the meridians. Mm -hmm. The meridians are pathways in your body that help us clear energy. Sometimes the energy gets stuck there. It's with acupressure, acupuncture, but yoga also stimulates these points. And then release your hands, interlock your fingers at the nape of the neck. That's the tippy top of your neck, the ridge of your skull. Good, you can even massage with your thumbs. You can still sway side to side. There's also an offering to be super still and forward fold as you drape forward. Oh, there's Kate. It's another sunshine face for me. Good, and then slowly release your hands. Measure two fists in between your feet, feet about hip Swiss distance, snug fit, yeah. So from here, inhale, hands to shins or thighs. First half lift, let's pause here and half lift. Suck the belly in, sit points towards the back of the mat. Crown of head forward, feel the length. Feel the empowerment of your breath and body as they connect. Good, active arms to lengthen your spine. One more inhale and exhale, release. Try that two times. One breath, one movement. Inhale, creates your half lift, long spine, navel in. Exhale, release. And it's all you, last one. Inhale, draw the heart forward. And exhale, release. This is where you start to find your own timing. You'll be a little in front, a little behind dialogue, but stay with your body breath connection. On your inhale, glide your arms all the way up into mountain. So we stand tall on the mountain, reaching up. Good, spread your fingers wide, active hands. I sometimes like to say no sloppy clowns, right? Yeah, so reach up, close your eyes. Let your fingers spread wide, glide the energy down the arms. Let your shoulders drop away from the ears. Knit the low ribs in. So then feel your heart lift your ribs away from your waist. Sit points down, navel tucked in. Pull up on your kneecaps just gently to enliven your quads, enliven your glutes, and then feel the soles of your feet root and plant into the mat. It's possibly my favorite sensation in mountain to feel my feet root and plant, these strong feet that we stand on all day long, and they are sensitive. Start to feel the energy glide back up through your body, all the way up to the fingertips, yeah. And your arms can be a little wider than shoulder width, if that feels a little more accessible. Chin neutral at first, you can start to pick the chin up if that feels good, and then all together we'll empty the lungs, Taking a lovely inhale, embody the breath. Lift your heart up, reach your fingers back, hips forward, and exhale, H-A, half forward, fold. And try that two times, one breath, one movement. Inhale, rise up, meet the mountain, stretch the arms up, reach up, reach back, and exhale, dive forward. And one more, one breath, one movement style. Rise up, reach up, navel in, feel strong, capable, able, and exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, chin away, back flatten, send the heart out. 
and exhale, release, hands down, step your feet back, pause and upper push-up plank. So heels over toes, breath is full. Plank is a moment to kind of greet your practice, not just when we come to the top of the mat. This is really welcome to class, you made it. Navel drawn in, shoulders over wrists. Feel that fire rising in the solar plexus. Breathe in a way so that it radiates all through your body. Let's use this power. This is your power source. Deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Nice, Jennifer. Yeah, you can press yourself forward and back. Notice how powerful you are, even within this plank. Awesome. Then draw your heart slightly forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower halfway. Nice, Coco. Tuck the elbows. Inhale, draw the heart forward. Flip the toes. Press up, up dog. Feel yourself suspended through your hands, the tops of feet. Look up and then exhale, down dog. Good, really nice. Beautiful Bhujangasana, Kathy. So from here, inhale the right leg long. Exhale, knee towards the nose, navel in, round forward. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Dial the back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. So as we greet our warrior one, close your eyes. The components of the warrior, courage, connection, presence. Be here now, left hip forward, right back. Ribs lift away, arms active, strong legs, good. Nice Eric, keep sitting low, commit to the lunge. Lengthen the back leg, squeeze the outer edge of the back foot into the mat just a little more to enliven the whole left leg and then draw left hip forward right back. Sit a little lower, arms rising. Yes, nice James. Drain the lungs. Inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, hands catch the mat. Step your right foot back and flow. Upper push up to lower. Up, dog to down. You could always do knees, chin, chest, baby cobra. If the upper to lower seems a little too much like a struggle today rather than a challenge. We want a challenge. Let's struggle, go. Inhale, left leg long. Reach, extend, lift the leg up. Exhale, knee towards the nose, round forward. Step your foot in between your thumbs. Peel the back, heel down, inhale, rise up, warrior one. So again, feel your feet root and plant into the earth. The arms rising up. Front leg at about a 90 degree angle, so nice, Ronnie. Right hip forward, left back, arms rising. Close your eyes. Feel the essence of your warrior. Good, I may not see you, Luis and Laura, but I feel you, nice, Margaret. Good, Gabriella. So as you sit low, biggest breath so far. Breathe so deeply that the feelings start to shift and change. Let them. Good. Right hip forward, left back. Sit low. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Reach up, reach back. Exhale. Hands down. Step your right foot back and flow. High to low, up to down. One breath, one movement, warrior one. Right to left, one time. Notice if you can stay in each movement. So one breath, one movement. Don't hold, don't fix, change. Let the breath do the amending. If something needs to shift and change, your breath will bring your body there. Beautiful, we move on to the left side. And that being said, if you do find yourself pausing, staying, remaining, it is your practice. I'm just inviting you into the one breath, one movement experience. You have an empirical experience, your own experience on the mat every time you return to it. Good, and then in down dog, let's gather in the breath, empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale, fullest breath, deepest breath. Exhale, H-A, ah. let 
let it go. Inhale the right leg long. Reach and lengthen the right leg as high as you can, lift it up. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Peel the back heel down. Inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, right arm forward, left arm back. So as we sit low in your warrior two stance, separate your feet a little bit wider. Good, the outer edge of your back foot is now parallel to the short edge of your mat. Sit low. This encourages your hips to open, stepping the feet a little bit wider. Full breaths as you inhale and exhale. Awesome. So the torso is in the center of the handlebars of the hips. If you find yourself leaning forward, that would be more of like a fencing stance. Come back a little bit. Spread your fingers wide. Good, see if you can sit a little lower. Tanya, yes. Heel toe your front foot a little forward, my friend. Yes, yes. Good, drain the lungs. Taking a lovely full body breath. Reach to the front of your mat in the back. Nice and exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your right leg back. Find your upper push up, turns into lower push up, up dog. Exhale, H-A, hot down dog, try that. A vibrational breath into down dog. Beautiful, inhale the left leg long. Reach, lengthen, extend, exhale, step your foot all the way in between your thumbs, knee towards nose. Peel back, heel down, rise up. Now open up, left arm forward, right arm back. And again, reposition the feet, sit a little wider. Most of us can sit just a little bit wider. Reach your arms. So shoulders hips scaffold. You'll feel the scaffolding of your body. Then tuck low belly in and widen everything in between the scaffolding. So feel your feet root and plant. Left knee over left ankle, the thigh. 90 degree angle, work for it. One day you could put your water bottle on it, good. Outer edge of back foot grips mat. And that can sometimes be a journey in itself. It was for me. Shoulders over hips, and some days it's not quite 90, but it's exactly deep as I can go. Feel your heart rise, ever rising heart of your warrior two. Empty, empty lungs. Beautiful, taking a deep full inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your leg back. Flow, high to low, up to down. Good, nice Valerie. So beautiful, Kate. Keep moving, nice Kathy. So one breath, one movement, right to left. Notice if you're resistant to the one breath, one movement. I often have a lot of belligerence that shows itself all during the day. I've worked on it for many, 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 many years. Centuries of working on it, believe it or not. Beautiful, Jennifer. Tania, am I saying your name right? I hope I'm saying your name right. I'll call you T today. Good, I like that smile. Good, nice. So we'll meet back in down dog. And if you've arrived there, before we've indicated anything, take a few breaths. If you've arrived there, maybe vibrational breath, or it's a time to clean it up. Check that your feet are not too wide. Just the width of your head would fit in between your feet. That was right, T. Press the mat away, draw your heart back, lift the sit points up. Empty, empty lungs. If you're still moving, you're right where you're supposed to be. Inhale, full, full breath. And exhale, HM. Soften your knees, relax your neck, look in between your hands. Hop, step, jump forward, top of mat. At the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, chin away, back flattens. And exhale, release. So check that your feet are hip swiss distance. That's two fists in between your feet. Thumbs touch, pinkies touch the inner seams of your arches, good. So here we go. Half lift, chin away, back flattens if you didn't. Okay, or do another one if you want. All right, release. 
Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. So as you find your chair pose, weight in the heels. Enliven your toe pads though, don't hang on with your toes. If you enliven your toe pads and your heels, you'll feel your arch light up. Good, now sit a little lower, sit points towards the back of your mat, nice Erickson. Reach the arms up, turn your pinkies in, strong arms. As you turn the pinkies in, it's almost like you're gonna gather the sunshine and draw it into your heart. Beautiful, big breaths, maybe you're a moon child. The arms can be wider than the shoulders. Breath is full, good, nice Coco. Deep, full breaths. And again, just like you're sitting in a chair, so bring your knees over your ankles, sit back a little more. That was it, my friend. One more breath, sit low, reach long, stand up. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive forward. Beautiful, step your feet together, toes and heels together. This is just another variation, toes and heels together. Get your big toes to touch, heels if you can. Nice, Kathy. Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose again. So squeeze your knees, feel your quads engage. I've been working on this, engaging my quads more. My left quad took a vacation, very strange on your knee, by the way. Reach your arms up, turn the pinkies in, thumbs out. Good, then from here, knit your low ribs, almost like you put on one of those little puffer vests and it's a little tight. Zip it up, sit a little lower, reach your arms up. Big, beautiful breaths, one more time, sit low, reach long. Stand up, arms up with you. Take your right arm, swoop it underneath your left. Cross the elbows, wrist, press your palms. These are eagle arms. Good, hug the low belly in. Sit low in the seat, little teeny tiny seat. Pick your right leg up and over left. Squeeze middle inner thighs, point your toe down. Lift your heart up. Good, deep, full breaths. Just point the toe down. If you're not double wrapping today, that doesn't mean you're uh, less enlightened than someone double wrapping, by the way. It's more, again, shoulders over hips. Feel for the scaffolding. Squeeze your arms and legs. And it's like a C-curve through the spine. Left hip forward, right back. Sit low. One more time, lift your heart. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And step out, feet together. Lift your arms up, swoop your arms up. Left arm swoops around, find the wrap. Start to squeeze into your wrap, yeah. Good, yeah, hug the navel in. Good, first round the shoulders, then draw the shoulders back. Hug your belly in, sit low in your seat. Little teeny tiny eagle seat, that was nice, Ellen. Sit low, pick your left leg up and over. Squeeze, point your toe down. Lift your heart up. Right hip forward, left back. Think knees a little bit left. Beautiful, Coco. Keep breathing. Nice, James. Point your toe down. Beautiful, Dan. Beautiful, Heidi. Heart is lifting, sitting low. I know Yvonne's got this eagle wrapped up. Tailbone to heel, heart lifting. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and change, step it out, feet together, swoop your arms up, lift up, reach up, maybe a tiny back bend, and exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, chin away back, flatten, send the heart out, and exhale, release, hands down, step, jump, hop back, find your flow. Exhale with an H-A har, hmm, into down dog. My favorite vibrational breath is into down dog. I do it often, I do it loud. Sometimes I do it really like a whisper. Inhale, the right leg long. These are just ideas and invitations. Send the right leg long, exhale. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Dial the back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Split the sky with your hands. Sit nice and low, reach wide, feel big, magnanimous. Magnanimous, big because you can be, for no reason. Heart rising. Navel in. Beautiful, look over your front hand. Sit a little lower, flip your right palm. Inhale, reach into your reverse warrior, right arm up, 
left hand down the back leg. Above or below the knee for stability if you're reaching down the leg. Reach the right arm up. If you are reaching around, check. Make sure you keep it aside, Ben Eric. A little left hip back a little bit, Eric. Just a little bit, your left hip. Good. Sit low. Reach long. Iron out the right elbow. Turn your pinky in. Beautiful. That just draws the shoulder head back and down and keeps your shoulder in the socket just a little bit stronger. Sit a little lower. Inhale, stretch your right arm all the way back as far as you can, like you mean it. And exhale, cartwheel your hands. Step your leg back, flow it out. High to low, up to down. You may notice a variation in your breath. Very often the breath starts to enliven here. Good, empty, empty lungs. Let's give it a little boost. Inhale, deep, full, full, full breath. And exhale, H-A. <sighs> Inhale, the left leg long. Reach and extend. Exhale, step the foot all the way in between your hands. Dial the back heel down. Inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Open up, let your heart rise. Sit nice and low, breath is full. Sit points down towards the mat. Look over the left fingertips. Feel your shoulder caps soften. Shoulder heads draw down towards sit points. Enliven the torso. Beautiful. Flip your left palm. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Left arm up, right hand down the back leg, above or below the knee for stability. If you're a wrapper, make sure left side body engages nice checking. I love that. Sit low. The knee stays directly over the ankle. Don't lose your lunge when you're reversing your warrior, peaceful warrior. Feel your ribs open. This can be a very subtle and yet such an explosive, like little explosions as you open up in between your ribs, like little twinkly lights. One more time, sitting low, reaching your left arm all the way back, reach and reach and reach and exhale. Cartwheel your hands down, step your leg back, flow high to low, up to down. One breath, one movement, warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. Move at your own pace. Moving at your own pace is paramount. Don't try to ever keep up with anyone, my words, the music. If we're in studio, fingers crossed soon. Get lost in your own body and breath movements. Feel the breath, articulate the shape in your body. Get interested in this journey. It's the journey of my lifetime. Finding my breath and body connection, for sure. It has impacted every other part of my life in all the best ways, never negatively, always positively. Catch myself so I can respond rather than react. And as you get a little bit further along in your life, you'll find that that is so important for the people you love. I prided myself on being a free spirit. In my free spiritism, I oftentimes was not as thoughtful as others as I thought I was. This yoga allows me to be a free spirit and care for others in very real ways, in your down dog, empty, empty lungs, taking a deep, full inhale. Exhale, H A. Soften your knees, relax your neck, come to the top of your mat. As you come to the top of your mat, Inhale, halfway lift, chin away back, flattens. It's okay if you're still flowing, keep flowing. You cannot get lost, it's your own mat. So step your feet together again, toes and heels. Let's do one more chair and balance in it. Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. So squeeze your knees, sit low, reach long, really nice stand, sit points towards the back of your mat, nice tee. Weight in your heels, arms reaching up, pinkies turned in. So nice, Kathy. 
Beautiful, Kate. So sit a little lower, reach a little longer. Sweep your hands back by your hips, almost like as if they're wings, yeah. Reach your arms back, so they're about hip height. Spread your fingers wide. Use your arms to stabilize. Now we'll switch the weight to the right foot. Pick your left heel up towards your butt up. Then send your left leg all the way back. Keep your leg lifted. Good, deep, full breaths as we're inhaling and exhaling. Balancing on your right leg. If you're teetering, tottering, enjoy that. Again, childlike energy. So from here, spread the fingers wide, reach, then bring your hands to heart center. Press the palms, right and left side knee. Take another breath, reach your arms forward. This is called standing stick, Tula Nagasana or Warrior Three. I know lots of names, right? Let's keep names. Reach and lengthen, reach and lengthen, and release your hands down. Lift your left leg up as high as you can. You're starting to work on standing splits. The splits are the journey of my life. If I didn't do gymnastics as a child, actually when we played duck duck goose, my hips already hurt when I sat crisscross, even at like five. So draw the bar head to the knee. Good. By the way, it doesn't hurt when I played duck duck goose anymore. Draw the bar head to the chin. Lift your left leg all the way up. Maybe right hand wraps around the outside of the right ankle and hold the ankle from the back. Your forearm braces your calf bicep. Draw the forehead to the shin. Lift the leg, lift, lift, lift. Release your right hand, stabilize. Left foot next to right. Sit low in your chair. Arms up, sit low. Squeeze the knees. Jennifer, bring your feet together. Yes, that's it. Sit low, reach long, sweep your arms back by your hips. Engage your arms. Shift the weight to the left leg. Pick your right heel up towards your butt up and send your right leg all the way back, hinging. Hinge on the hip. Drop your right hip down a little, nice. Keep breathing. Good, spread the fingers wide, reach back, then bring your hands to heart center. Nice, Dan. Press your palms, lift your heart a little bit, Erickson. Yep, yeah, that's okay, come back in. Reach the arms forward and lengthen. Reach and lengthen like a big capital T. Reach and lengthen for terrific, reach, 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 and release, both hands down. Lift your right leg up. Far hip to the shin. Keep lifting. I mean, you're lifting your right leg. Left would have been weird. We would have been like, um, wow, we would have been doing super yogi power stuff. Levitating. Wrap your left hand around the back of the ankle. Good. Let your head draw down. Keep lifting the leg up. Good. So nice. Forehead to shin. Nice, Valerie. Lift, lift. Use the forearm on the, the calf bicep. Lift, lift, lift. Release both hands, stabilize. Right foot next to left, sit low. Chair pose. Yeah, you thought you were done. Exhale, hands to heart center. Oh yeah, twisting chair. Inhale, upper body lifts. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. You thought you'd have to do your thunderbolt. I know, I tricked you, I'm tricky today. Draw your left hip back a little bit. See if you can get your knees nice and level. It's okay if they're like a little bit not because the SI joint moves a lot in the low spine. Left hand down, right arm up. If one is jutting forward though, draw that hip back for the knee that's kind of jagged. Reach the right arm up, left arm down. Good. Stay in the flyer bind, wrap the right hand around. Good, left hand underneath. For three, roll the right shoulder up towards the sky or reach up and release, come back to center, strong moment. Inhale, upper body lifts. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Good, feel the twist. Look over the left shoulder. Beautiful work. Maybe open up into your fly, right hand down, left arm up. Beautiful breaths. Reach your arms away from one another. Go for the wrap, really nice wrapping, really nice flying, really nice heart center. 
One more sweet breath and release. Come back to center. Stand up, arms up. Take your right arm, swoop it around your left, cross it elbows, wrists. Good, ego arms. Sit low through the seat. Good, pick your right leg up and over left. You've been here before, squeeze middle inner thighs. Point the toe down, lift the heart up. Big, beautiful breaths. Inhale, upper body lifts. Exhale, elbows to the top of the knee. Good, elbows touch knee, unravel your arms. Spread your fingers wide. Reach towards the back of your mat. Unravel your right leg. Send the right leg long. Hinge forward, what? Groundhog Day, we've been here before. So as you hinge forward, awkward airplane, bring your hands to heart center. Good, then reach the arms forward and lengthen for three, for two, for one. Step your right foot all the way back, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Big, beautiful breaths. Inhale, reach, exhale, left hand down, right arm up, side angle. Good, so look up towards your right fingertips. Let's go for the wrap, right hand around the back. You can stay here in a half bind or reach the left hand underneath. You can reach for fingertips. I air bind a lot on this side or reach for inner thigh and keep it a half bind. One more breath. And then release right arm up, side angle. Good, now look in front of the left toes. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Just listen, or you can look from here. Left hand, step it in front of the left foot, press away with right toe pad, and lift up, balancing hand. Stack right hip on top of left. Pick your right arm up. Start to look over your right fingertips. Good. Reach and lengthen. Beautiful work, nice variations for three, for two, for one, right hand down, right foot next to left, forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, let's glide the arms up. Stand up. Feet together, toes and heels. Left arm wraps around right. Cross it on those wrists. Good, hug the belly in, sit low in the seat. Pick your left leg up and over, squeeze middle in our thighs. Point the toe down. Stack the shoulders for a moment. Inhale, upper body lifts. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, hinge forward, feel the hinging at the hips. Elbows touch, unravel your arms. Spread your fingers wide. Reach to the back of the room, not just the side. Left leg unravel. Send the left leg to the back of the room. Hands reach back, heel reaches back. Hinging forward, hands to heart center. And then warrior three, reaching, lengthening. Reaching, lengthen, reach, reach, reach. Release. Both hands down. Oh wait, no, I got, yeah, step back. Thanks everyone, step back. Lift up, warrior one. I got carried away. Warrior two. Sit nice and low. Reach long, good. Wide stance, reach forward, right hand down, left arm up. Side angle. Good, take the left hand, wrap it around the back. Good, roll your left shoulder up towards the sky. Look skyward, the body follows the gaze. One more breath. And release back into your side angle. Start to get ready to launch. Left hand to left hip. Step your right hand in front of the right foot. Press away with left toe pad. And pick your left leg up, balancing half moon. Left arm reaches up. Good, look up. Reach, reach, reach. 
All variations, so beautiful. Kick the heel of the back leg, reach and reach and reach. And release, left hand down, left foot next to right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, hands down, step back. Flow it out, high to low, up to down. Beautiful, exhale with an H-A har hmm, into down dog. Inhale, the right leg long. Let the hip roll open, twirl the ankle, separate the toes. Bring the right knee out past the right hip. The foot's on the left side of your mat for half pigeon. Left leg is long. It's more about the hips than the shin. Squaring the shin may come later. More about the hips. Check your left leg is long, mirroring the long edge of your mat. And then draw your hands forward. Forehead comes down. Keep breathing. Yeah, roll the forehead. Release the tongue and the jaw. Big beauty. Beautiful breaths. Let everything go. Release. Send the breath anywhere in the body where you may feel a little tightness. Yeah, and if you do, drain the lungs. Concentrate on that point. Take in a deep, full inhale. And exhale, send the breath out. The energy pathways inside us send the prana, the energy there when you bring your intention there. It's a true thing. Slowly, very sweetly, begin to press away. And as you press away, lift up, and then you'll find an exit that makes sense for you. Some come to all fours, some tuck the back toes, use your hands, press up into down dog. There are very many ways to exit your pigeon. Find the one that makes sense for you. And then stretch it out or pedal the feet. Come through a flow. I really like the whole rinse out in between your pigeons. I know some say, oh, we'll meet on left side. I just like to stay together. It's like if we were all hiking before I made a sharp turn, I would want to make sure we were all together. So inhale the left leg long, reach and lengthen. Let the hip roll open, almost like saying, hello, we're going to pigeon right now. Left knee out past left hip. Bring the foot up to the right side. Square your hips. Lift your heart. And then slowly walk your hands forward. Immediately engage with your breath. So often we're hardwired in certain shapes to 
kind of have the this similar experience could you find something new today like open to the prospect that there is something new for you in the pigeon each day is a new day in this very unique container it's actually one of a kind container your body and the way your breath moves through the unique container is the journey to become familiar and intimate with all the ways the breath, the energy, the prana, the chi. In every language, there's a word for energy and breath. I mean, I guess there are words for everything, but it feels special talking about the breath for me because it's life force. It's not just the breath. It's literally the life force. There are places in your body that different life forces emanate from your hips. It's shing energy. It's actually like the glue that keeps you together. It coalesces there for your life and then we're born with a certain amount of it. There's Zhen energy, soul energy that travels with you always. And each soul, or each unique container, you too, are comparable, are contrastable. They just are. <sighs> and I've had those moments in the container where I was humbled by where the energy would go and what I would find. Have that courage. Bring your warrior courage to your pigeon. Reinvest in these pockets and places you may not be familiar with. They may lead you to your next adventure. Empty, empty lung. Shh. Inhale, sweet full breath. Exhale, H-A. Slowly, slowly, begin to lift up. Good, and as you lift up, we're gonna find a different exit. Shift to the left side. Bring your right leg up and over for a seated twist. Good, so your right foot is next to your left knee. Right foot, oh, I have to change my camera. Sorry about that, everybody. So your right foot up and over, yeah. Left heel next to your hip, right hand to the base of your spine. Left arm up, reach up, reach, reach. Hook your elbow on the side of your knee. You can reach down for the knee. If you can grab that, you can hold fabric, or you can uh, index finger thumb, close the energy and look over the right shoulder, that's called a mudra. And then look over your right shoulder. Press your right hand down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Again, press the hand down, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, twist, and twist, and twist. And release, both hands to the left hip, a little bow into your own experience. Counter twist and switch. Right leg under. Good. Left hand at base of spine, right arm up. So reach up, reach around. Yeah, I have to hold my knee just because I have a, that little injury. I slipped with my dog. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. Sit points down, feel rooted, feel the rising. And now the twisting. Inhale, rising, exhale, twist. And twist and twist and release both hands. Right hip. Good. And then unwind your legs, lay all the way back into your shavasana. And as 
your way back into your Shavasana. See if you can close your eyes. Notice if there's resistance here. We didn't do all the other things. Where's my happy baby? Where's my core work? Maybe you're popping it in. No worries. But just notice. There are 23 more hours to get all of that in. And to now let the practice seep into your body. Let the bones be heavy. Let your breath roam all over the body in every dimension, your physical dimension, the emotional, the thought realm. Notice space in between your thoughts. Let the thoughts release so this version of you before the world got its hands on you starts to show up. This beingness that is you. Rest here, be well. We'll end with a vibrational breath. I'll read a quote. If you've ever thought about teacher training, we have one coming up. We're really excited about it because people from near and far can take it. We still have some spots left. The San Francisco training, I'm one of the trainers. My name is Jamie. If you have some questions, you can uh, ask me in the chat box. I'll certainly put the TT uh, information there as well. And I wanna thank you for showing up for yourself, showing up for each other. It really is very sacred and special. It's a really big deal actually. So if you can, when you can come back, you can also pop a donation in. I'll have that link. Donations are so sacred, the sacred gift to us. The quote today is from Mark Nepo. I can't explain or offer conclusions. Just know that we're surprised into being. Like divers who open the treasure just as they're turn, uh, running out of air. We're forced to let go of what we want in order to live another day. So empty the lungs. Taking a nice full inhale, deepest, fullest breath. And exhale, H-A. Be well here, rest here. Good, you can start to wiggle your toes a little bit. You can even roll on to right or left side. And as you begin to release, you can always come back and join us, join me.